Apprentice Challenge has been running for four years in the borough of Wellington and Hatfield. Teams of Year 12 business students are paired with a local charity and a local business. They are each given £100 to turn into a £1,000 or more to their selected charity. In 2015-16 alone, we have raised over £26,000 for the selected charities. This has been done by the teams carrying out a range of unique activities like selling handmade Christmas baubles, penalty shootouts and a roller skating event. This short film will give you an example of how the local charities benefit from the much needed revenue the project generates and also here is a handful of things that can be up to. We started off quite small doing things like cake sales and doing things within school and then we kind of elaborated to think about our big, uh, bigger ideas such as Curry Night and um, our Road City Evening and I think they've kind of been our most significant um, kind of events that we've done before. I decided to come involved in Dragon's Effect Challenge because I thought it was a good opportunity to get involved with a charity and also a business. Them, um, with work ethic and um, also team building and also working um, for a charity is quite important as well. What advice would you give to other students considering joining the challenge next year? Um, well first I think you need to communicate well because um, if you only meet once a week and don't really speak then things just don't get done. Um, I think it's I think it's also important to work as a team because if everyone's, if only one person's doing all the jobs and it just doesn't work out, I think it's good that everyone's sharing responsibilities out and everyone can learn from it in the same way. I think it's been really important. What has been a benefit of the Dragons opposed to this for kids? Donations go a great our way as well into ensuring that we can reach out to more children, but actually the awareness is even a bigger factor to us. Um, with me just being one person covering the whole of the area, it's crucial to have um, the seven members of your team that can obviously relay that message in, in their actual um, meeting. I think um, the students putting themselves uh, forward for this project certainly demonstrates great work, work ethic. Um, I think it's going to be an, an excellent tick on their CV above some of the other students. That... The girls are just absolutely wonderful. They are so enthusiastic, not only from the Willow side but from learning about business. Um, I have I've been so so proud of them. So many brilliant ideas, and I think as well what's really come through is really sort of strong leadership skills. So I think they need to be honed and developed as they will be over time. But you know, for such quite young people, for that to be really coming through at this stage is really really impressive. It's a bit of a two-way street, really, isn't it? It's giving something back if they're local businesses giving something back into a community that's supporting them and also it's high profile for them, it's going to give them, put their name out there. Um, but I do think the main thing is give something back. 